Hello, my name is Steve Davis, and I'm the editor-in-chief of Southern Boating Magazine. And joining me today on Southern Boating TV is Roger Moore, the owner and CEO of Nautical Ventures Marine Center. Welcome, Roger. Thank you. Thank you for having me on. Thank you. Great. I'm glad you could join me today. Can you give us a little more idea of why Nautical Ventures is the go-to place for fun on the water? When we originally started the business, we started as a boat dealership and we then expanded into the water sports toys. Uh, I had an opportunity to acquire a smaller company that was in the water sports business and our belief was that there was synergism between water sports toys and people that go boating need toys. Mm -hmm. uh, lo and behold that, that became the fact and uh, our business has grown rather dramatically based on that and part of the the philosophy or the the fun that we have is when someone walks in the front door they don't feel like they're walking into an automotive dealership or a car dealership where the salesman approaches them and they're going to feel like they're going to be sold a boat. When someone walks in the front door at Nautical Ventures we want them to be in awe of the number of toys that we have, right. the boats that are there, and to relax and say this is a fun place to be. Right. And our sales staff is trained and they're, they're passionate about the same thing. So it really does diffuse the situation quickly uh, from a sales environment to one of uh, consulting, one of trying to fulfill their needs. And as you may know, we sell everything from kayaks to literally thousand foot cruise ships. And right. our slogan again is fun on the water. Fun so. on the water, no matter if it's the boat, the inflatable raft, or even the kayak or the paddleboard. There is uh, a number of ways to enjoy the day out on the water. That's now, now, when you um, first started this, what was it that got you into that? Because from what I understand, you've done a lot of cruising on the water yourself. And I don't mean just by playing on the water uh, on the dock or by your cottage, but actually cruising around in the ocean. Can you give us a little idea of, how, uh, of your history a little bit about that? Sure, I'd be happy to. Uh, in 1986, uh, we sold our business in, Calif in Northern California and decided, uh, my wife and I had built it, and we decided we'd take off for six months and maybe cruise down the coast of California. And we bought a motor sailor and we took off and we absolutely loved the experience. Um, we spent the first four months cruising down to, stopping at every location and cruising our way down to San Diego, mm -hmm. then decided to go into Mexico and uh, we loved Mexico, met some people in Acapulco, and they said they were crossing the Pacific. And I said, you're nuts. <laughs> Man, that's, that's 2,850 miles, yeah. no land. And uh, 30 days later, off we went. No way. And uh, once we hit the Marquesas, hit, not hit, once we <laughs> entered the Marquesas, um, we, we were just in love with the whole process. And it was just my wife and I, ended up my wife and I, a dog, a cat, and a monkey that oh we goodness. picked up along the way. And we just continued that voyage six months at a time. It was never really our intention to go beyond California. So right. once you're in the South Pacific, then what do you do? Well, you don't want to go back. So we went from the Marquesas to the Tuamotus and the Society Islands and then Cook's Tonga, Fiji, and throughout and up through Indonesia. and. 45,000 oh nautical gosh. miles later, That's here we incredible. are. <laughs> and what was it that brought you here to Florida then, if you were in California? What, well, what got you we here? had gone all the, most of the way around the world, and as we crossed the uh, Atlantic uh, from the Capo Verde, Cape Verde Islands, mm -hmm. we went to Barbados, down to Venezuela, and came up this far. Okay. And after 13 years, we needed new teak decks, second That's rebuild beautiful. on the generators. I said, you know, maybe I should sell the boat and get another boat. Um, and that's where I met Jeff Garcia, my current business partner. He okay. sold the boat. And I thought that the brokerage business was fun because I bought another boat. Uh, and one thing led to another. So we did well in the brokerage business and was able to apply all of the things that I'd learned, you know, learned how to do air conditioning, diesel engine repair, generator repair, out of self-defense. There's nothing right. you can do. There, right. there are no technicians in the middle of nowhere. So from that then, you progressed into not only being a boat 
brokerage, but you went into service then as well? We were doing boat service. Uh, during the, the, the difficult time, 2008, when everyone was suffering, uh, we were buying pur uh, purchasing boats from national liquidators and we were refurbishing them ourselves, Jeff and I were. Um, he had good contacts. Uh, his background is uh, owned a shipyard in south of France and then went on to take on the Swan charter fleet okay. down in St. Martin. Right. So he's French speaking, knew those folks. So when things were tough, we were lucky. We bought boats at a good price, we fixed them up, and we were able to sell them when the Euro was strong. We sold them in the Caribbean. And that took us, we grew through, through the decline of 2008 and 9, and that's when we got into new boats, okay. uh, when it started to recover. Um, we started in a brokerage business and then water sports toys. And how do you get a good boat line? How do you get a premium boat line as a new boat dealership? It's difficult. The good boats are already with other dealerships. Uh, so we started to look elsewhere, look overseas. And we've had some failures and we've had some successes. Uh, one of our most recent major successes has been the Axopar brand, which is designed in Finland and built in Poland. Okay. And we took them on and we introduced it into this marketplace and it has been a meteoric success. Uh, and now is the success we've had in these European boat brands has now brought recognition of our dealership, uh, top 100 within uh, the, the marine industry, boating industry, uh, numerous uh, first position awards for our sales and service that we've done and now we're seeing some of the better brands are approaching us so it's an exciting time for us Great. that our success is now being seen by other people in the industry. Well we're at the dock at the Dania Beach location was this the original location and because you're now expanding in the brokerage boat as well as the store itself what how many other locations do you we have, have a total of six locations now so this was our real first foray into the uh, retail boat sales All right and that has expanded now into North Palm Beach and Tampa okay. Bay and Sarasota and recently acquired a marina here in Fort Lauderdale now is the are any of the other locations a, a marina set up or are they just store uh, with service and um, the, sales. The, the North Palm store is a marina. We sell fuel. We have okay. uh, dry stack storage there. We'll be adding dry stack storage to the new marina here in Fort Lauderdale. Uh, we're, we're just going through the site plan review and all on the redevelopment of this new marina. And we intend to have a showroom about the size of the one that's here, which is uh, 10,000 square feet, and with a glass curtain wall in the back that will open up to a covered uh, area with 13 boats on lifts you'll see all the boats that are out on on dry land on the on the dry docks and if you like that axopar or that mm -hmm. sailfish or whatever it is you were looking at we can get in push the button launch it and off we go so an indoor and outdoor, outdoor. showroom that's fantastic yeah it's going to be exciting what are some of the highlights that you like to show off in the store we like to show it all off <laughs> and uh, I jokingly say some things we acquire as eye candy because I want this to be a fun experience when you step in the door I want you to go wow yeah and whether you're you want to buy it or not doesn't matter I want you to go I, Steve I want you to go talk to Skip and say Skip I can't believe all the stuff they've got in there and I want that to be the invitation for people to come experience the fun themselves and quite often those things, the one off to our left here is a go cycle electric bike. Okay. And I saw that about four years ago at the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show. Yeah. And it's perfect for the yacht industry. The chain is covered, it's called the Clean Guard, it's made out of injection molded magnesium, uh, it's got hydraulic brakes, so there's nothing to rust on it. And it's extremely light and it folds up. And I said, wow, I think we could sell those to the, the yachts that we supply mm -hmm. boats for. And somebody goes to Bimini or they go anywhere, they need some transportation to get to the customs office That's or whatever. Right. And lo and behold, we've become number one dealer for Go Cycle when I thought it was eye candy. <laughs> and the same thing has happened with several other brands. Another very interesting uh, success story for us is a product called Naughty Boy. Okay. And Naughty Boy is a, an inflatable uh, platform with a simulated teak upper deck, okay. a ladder, uh, 
life life raft type ballast bags on it so that it doesn't blow away and it's now become so it's like an inflatable dock then it is an inflatable okay. dock and it's now become the product of choice for all the yachts you take all these lovely toys that are surrounding mm -hmm. us and you don't want to bang those toys into the yacht you don't want to ruin the toys so you have this nice dock that has become a teak beach that your kids can play on or your guests can play on and it becomes the uh, the toy dock for for all your fun stuff so is, is it more than just a square dock are there um, attachments or um, accessories that you could actually fit the toys yes they have numerous sizes and they have a a patented design with what's called a toggle it's a little round inflatable part that you can hook all the different size docks to and create whatever configuration you want and if it fits in the showroom and it really does create fun on the water then it qualifies let's try that right. product we've got one in the water right here called a red shark bike okay it's an SUP it's an inflatable SUP and it has a pedal system on it and you've got to have a little skill because you have to balance on it but you you pedal it and off you go so so it's like a uh, somewhat of a stationary bike that moves on the water on the water so you get to run up and down the canal <laughs> or wherever your anchorage is get your exercise and enjoy the environment and fall in once in a while because you need a little skill <laughs> or you need to cool off or that's cool off that's it all right so name some of the other cool products you got in the store well the sea bob which is another product off to the right here okay uh, this is uh i think it's about 13 miles an hour underwater and so that's like the thing you hold you, on. You just you hold on to it. In. It's got uh, six or eight gears. You just press the button. So divers are using it. Use it on the surface. Snorkeling. Uh, really fun toy. Okay. And the other thing that's developed for us is we, we've now become one of the major purveyors to the big yachts. So if you've got a 120 foot or 100 to 200 foot yacht and you're chartering, you have to have all the toys. Right. If you have a, a beautiful 120 foot yacht that has no toys and one that has 120, guess which one's going to leap, going to charter? The one with the toys, because the whole family, everybody wants to play. So that means you, you obviously carry some sailboats? Some yes. Some small sailboats? Yep, we carry Hobie sailboats, a new inflatable, very interesting sailboat called T-Wall, T-I-W-A-L. Okay. And it goes into two and like you said duffel that was inflatable. Yeah, it goes into like two duffel bags, <laughs> and it's got a centerboard. It's really a cool performing sailboat. Good size uh, sail ratio, so uh, you you can manage to have fun a lot of different ways. I, I know, uh, and I wanted. I'm a sailor, so I'm familiar somewhat with that tie, tie wall you say, mm -hmm. uh, but I've never been a really big fisherman. But I have a bunch of friends that are fishermen and they've recently got it gotten into the kayak fishing i did see one in there but i really didn't quite understand what was involved with it could you give us a little idea oh, i'd love to this is a really fun segment of the business uh, we affiliated with a fellow by the name of joe hector who started extreme kayak fishing i think there's like seven or eight years ago and we sponsored joe in a kayak fishing tournament uh, not in a tournament creating a tournament okay and Joe is a great promoter, uh, bodybuilder, uh, avid fisherman, and he has built this into a tremendous uh, business for himself. Uh, the last tournament uh, went out of Boca, Boca Raton, and I believe, or Pompano, and there were 110 kayaks. Wow. They came from all over the country. Uh, to part and e some international to participate, 5,000 first prize, and they're catching pelagic fish, sailfish. Wow! Uh, it, it is truly amazing, and it's not unusual for us to sell a kayak, rig it with side scanning, uh, echo sounders, really live wells. Uh, Ten, twelve thousand dollars for a kayak is not an unusual sale. Oh my goodness! Can you believe a twelve thousand <laughs> dollar kayak? And it goes out there fully rigged. And these guys are, are competing. And where are they putting the fish when they catch them? Oh, there's a, <laughs> we sell something for that. It, it goes on the bow, and it's a cold bag that, okay. that's specially designed, so it goes on the, on the bow of the kayak. And our, we are one of the major dealers with Hobie. Hobie kayaks, Hobie sail, okay. and Hobie paddle boards. Uh, but the Hobie, Hobie has really focused on uh, the fishing element of it and is probably the number one purveyor of 
uh, kayaks right. for this purpose. But they've developed, uh, the, they call it the Mirage Drive. Okay. It's, it's flippers like you'd see on a, uh, can't remember the name of the, like a penguin or something. Uh, and it's incredibly powerful. It's not a gimmick. So, so instead of doing this kind of thing, it does it, it, it sideways? Do, it, yeah, it does it sideways. Very powerful. So you've got a rudder that you can reach down and, and control your direction. You're pedaling just like you would a, a bicycle. It's just actually this movement right. that drives the fins. And it propels you. You can go up to like six knots. Well, so that's pretty good. Your hands are free for photography, for those who that love photography right. for beer drinking. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't and you can also paddle it. And also for when you catch that sailfish and you, it's trying to pull you away. It's dragging you. You get to it, go for quite a ride. I, you don't I even bet. need to pedal. <laughs> Hang on. So can anybody come down and try out some of your products? Yeah, the, our motto is try before you buy. So if it's okay. a kayak, we'll put two or we'll narrow it down to two or three kayaks, put them in the water and our staff will suit you up with a life jacket. So do you have special um, like uh, try me days or yes. some kind of thing like that where? We we normally uh, once a quarter have a, a major demo day. We were a, doing a it monthly day. but it yeah. turned out to be a lot for us. So Roger, we've been talking about all of these great products that you have, the toys, the boats. Short of coming down to the store, is there a way that people can get online and take a look at everything before they or at least to get an idea of what you have before they actually come down and take a look? Absolutely. We'd love to have you visit our website. It's Nautical Ventures, with an S, uh, .com. And we've got a, a, an extremely rich website. Uh, all of the brands, um, all of the different products that we sell, uh, you can determine which store is the closest to your location. Mm -hmm. uh, and we've got many, many videos that we've shot. We've taken the favorite ones from our various vendors and from consumers that have been enjoying their their toys and their boats and supplied us with video so you can you could spend easily a couple of hours on our website so on the website can you give information about the marinas that you have are can people come use the marinas like a transient docking or is it just for the boats well we have uh, storage in the north store dry stack storage and outdoor storage uh, we have uh, in the water 110 slips here in Fort Lauderdale, and we are building a 200 unit dry stack here in Fort Lauderdale. Okay, so they can get all that information all on the website? All of that's on the, on the website. On nauticalventures.com, perfect place to go to check things out before you get down to the store. But there's nothing like coming to the store and seeing it all in person. Like I said, that eye candy is fantastic. Roger, thank you so much. Thank you, Steve. For being with us today. Thank, thanks for having and, us on. Uh, We'll obviously talk again. Okay. I'm Steve Davis, Editor-in-Chief of Southern Boating Magazine on Southern Boating TV. Have a great day, everyone.